Welcome to Facenra On Air. Today we're talking with Sherry. Sherry has been struggling with asthma for years and she's here today to tell us her story. Sherry, we're so pleased you could join us today. Thank you, so glad to be here. Facenra is an add-on injection for people 12 and up with asthma driven by eosinophils. Facenra is not a rescue medicine or for other eosinophilic conditions. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Sherry, I'm 53 years old. I live in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and I work as a medical assistant in a doctor's office. I understand you have a pretty big family. Yes, my husband and I have four children and five little grandbabies, three boys and two girls. That's wonderful. Do you get to see them much? Yes, they all live nearby, so I do try to spend as much time as possible with them. It's really nice to be able to see them so often because one of my goals is to be an active grandma and be in their lives. So what else do you like to do in your free time? I love to travel. I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that quite a bit. My husband and I recently went to London. We've been able to go to Paris, Venice, Hungary, Korea, China, and Mongolia. You are quite the world traveler. What else do you love doing closer to home? Well, I used to love to go horseback riding, camping, hiking, water skiing. I was really active. But in the last 10 years, I've been limited to some of those things because of my asthma. Now I'm slowly getting back into those activities, but when things were at their worst, I really had trouble doing any of them because of my breathing. Wow, that must have been really tough. It was. When were you first diagnosed with asthma? When I was 30. I had seen an asthma specialist in my town, and he initially diagnosed me with exercise-induced asthma. As time went on, my symptoms became more severe. About five to ten years ago, my asthma became debilitating. Because I was having so much difficulty breathing, I spent a lot of time in bed, and I wasn't able to be that happy, motivated mom I had always been. Cooking Christmas dinner was really hard. That used to be one of my favorite things to do. I can tell how important it is for you to be there for your kids. Can you talk more about that? Well, when you're a mom, you're usually the one in charge of a lot of things to help your family and keep them motivated. When you don't feel good, it's really hard on everyone. There were times I felt depressed because of it. It sounds like that was a difficult time in your life. What kind of symptoms were you having? It seemed like I was constantly coughing. I couldn't catch my breath. I'd go into a coughing fit and I'd have to excuse myself. It was horrible. And then because I was having trouble breathing, it was hard to talk. And when my family came over, I couldn't just sit and talk to them. I couldn't laugh out loud. I just was not the happy, bubbly person that I'm used to being with everyone. Sherry, it seems like this really affected you. Yeah, it did. I really felt like it even became harder and harder to enjoy everyday pleasures that I'd always taken for granted, like smelling a flower or tasting my favorite chocolate. Facenra may cause allergic reactions. Get help right away if you have swelling of your face, mouth and tongue, or trouble breathing. Don't stop your asthma treatments unless your doctor tells you to. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection or your asthma worsens. Headache and sore throat may occur. Sherry, I have to ask, during that time, did you ever feel like your asthma was not being managed as well as it could? Did you ever think there had to be some other options out there for you? Well, the doctor who had originally diagnosed me had moved away. So I had been to other allergists and pulmonologists. Each one prescribed different medications to manage my asthma symptoms. Oral steroids, rescue inhalers, nebulizers. But I just felt worse and worse. It got to the point where I did start to feel that they didn't have a clue what was going on with me. Is there anything you wish you'd done differently? I'm not sure I could have done anything differently, but I am sorry that my family had to witness what I was going through. I know it was as hard on them as it was on me. I wish I would have known sooner about the eosinophils being the cause of my asthma, and that there was a simple blood test that could help identify that. Sherry, I am so sorry you had to go through all that. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Stay with Facenra on air to hear what it took for Sherry to finally say, enough is enough, and get the help she needed to manage her asthma. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. For more information, visit Facenra.com.